Hi there. Today we will teach you how to build external elevations for your building. First, let us look around this villa. It gets two big space with gable roofs, skylight window, chimneys and glass room. To make this, the first step is to draw an elevation of one gable roof. First, build a two-story house with flat top. Go to construction tool. Use two guides to define the highest point of the gable roof. Draw a guide. 9000 mm height above floor. Then, draw another guide that perpendicular to the previous guide from the center of that elevation. Now, switch to the construction interface of the building we have already done. Measure the height above the floor. And back to the part we want to do the modeling. Pull a guide from the ground. Enter the distance we just measured. And measure the distance to the line above. Pull a guide. Use the line tool to connect the five points. Then, use the offset tool to offset 300 millimeters outward. Duplicate a newly built facade to be the backup. Measure the extrusion distance of the elevation. Ungroup. Push it out and delete. Copy a wall contour to the opposite side and complete the outline of the wall that needs to be extruded. Measure and push. Duplicate an already done modeling face. Use it to fill the facade and clear all guides. Choose one face. Press Shift to double click on that face to make it into a group. Drag the material onto the target modeling. Ungroup. First, give the material to one face. Then, press Shift to choose another surface and select Connect Faces. Now, define the highest point with guides in another modeling space. Enter values for one modeling face. Draw wall contour, measure and extrude. Duplicate a modeling face to fill another elevation.
Clear all guides. Group and give material. You built in the DIY interface. Split the area with the material you don't need and clear them. Back to the DIY interface. Drag the window model into your project. Resize. Select and click replace. Choose the middle face and give it a glass material. And give a metal material to the frame. Now, build the modeling platform near the building. Pull a guide and draw the side with the rectangle tool. Measure the distance to pull out. Then, select Connect Faces command. Return to the DIY interface. Try dragging the railing model onto the modeling platform. First, place it on the ground near the platform. Then, resize and adjust the height to 2700 mm. This is the rendering effect. That's all for today. See you next time.